Peace. All right. I hear a lot of people say uh, 14th Amendment made um, made black people citizens of the United States. And I was really looking in. This is the uh, Black's Law, 5th edition. As you can see, thanks to Taj Tariq Bay, I have all of the Black's Laws. He gives these out for free. Uh, Islam to the elder. Um, I was actually looking up something else, but I was in the F's of this. I, in my, I got a black, I got a fifth edition, but um, it's easier to do it on a computer. So I just seen Fourteenth Amendment and I seen Fourth Amendment right up under it, and I just, you know, for the hell of it, I, I read it because I've read. Obviously, I've read them before, but when I read it this time, I, it's so blatant. The the uh, the falsehood that spread on the masses. It's like right in your face. So I'm gonna read to these two amendments and just the fact that this one is so long to show you the fakeness of it, or for lack of a better term, because it's it's real in the United States, right? But not in the United States Constitution. Just look at the wording here. Right? So I'm gonna read the first line. To hear, and then I'm gonna read the. And I'm, I guess I'll read all this. Matter of fact, I'll read all this one first. The Fourth Amendment, right? This one obviously came about with the Bill of Rights in um, 17 something, I can't remember, 80 something. I don't know. You'll figure it out. When the, after the Constitution was ratified and they added the Bill of Rights because the people wasn't sure whether the Constitution was granting the government rights or whether it was taking away the rights of the people. So the people wanted wanted it in writing their rights specifically and anything that wasn't specifically written um, as um, rights to the government were always retained by the people. That's um, the 10th Amendment, 9th and 10th Amendment tell you that. All right. So anyway, understand that the first 10 amendments were written when the, right around the time the Constitution was first ratified. Okay. These, the 14th, as you can see, 1868. What happened right before that? Civil War, murdered Abraham Lincoln. All right. It's a reasoning for all of this. Okay, listen. Fourth Amendment, Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, guaranteeing people, note every word. This is legalese I'm, te I'm showing you here. This is what they do. These words don't mean what you think they mean. Okay, now watch. Guaranteeing people the right to be secure in their homes and property against unreasonable searches and seizures, providing that no warrant shall issue except upon probable cause and then only as specific places to be searched and a persons and, oh, hold on, specific places to be searched and persons and things to be seized. Look at that. Guarantee the people's rights, okay, um, to specific places to be searched and persons and things to be seized. Persons and things. You understand what I'm saying? Different between people and person. And watch, in this definition, you ain't gonna see people. Watch. Matter of fact, before we do that, let's go look at the definitions of people and the definitions of person. Because you'll be amazed. Let's start at person, because we because this is been taught in this day and age, okay? In the general usage, number one, look at that. A human being, i.e. natural person, which is actually another definition, okay? Though by statute, I mean, though by statute, term may include a firm, labor, organizations, partnerships, associations. This is person. So a person is a partnership, a person is an association, corporation, legal representative trustee these words these terms are very important uh trustee in bankruptcy or receivers okay corporation a corporation is a person within the meaning of the equal protection and due process provided in the u.s constitution it's about the 14th amendment okay all right so let's go to people real quick go to people See the difference immediately. Yeah. 
Guess I should have already had it pulled up. Whatever. People, okay? A state, as the people of a, of the state of New York, a nation in its collective and political capacity, okay? The ag aggregate or mass of the individuals who constitute the state. In a more restrict sense, and as generally used in constitutional law, the entire body of those citizens of a state or nation who are invested with political power for political processes. Okay, see citizen. All right, see also person. Okay, in a more restricted sense, as generally used in constitutional law, the entire body. See, when they start talking, and they modern not modern constitution is when they take you to citizen person but originally it's a state and the state is not the state of texas the state of, state means a state of being as a people you are a state of being you understand what i'm saying i mean i hope you understand what i'm saying but if you don't all you got to do is read and you'll see okay citizen citizen one under the under the constitution and laws of the united states or of a particular state is a member of political community owing allegiance and being entitled to the enjoyment of full civil rights. All persons, persons, not people, persons born under, born or naturalized in the United States and subject to, and subject to, subject to, meaning slave, the jurisdiction thereof, are citizens of the United States and the state wherein they reside. Reside is another word, okay? See, 14th Amendment. Made you a citizen of the United States. Now let's read, let's finish reading 14th Amendment. Where was we at? Yeah, 14th Amendment. So you understand the 14th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Look what this one says. The Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. This one is the Constitution of the United States. Do you get the difference? The Amendment of the constitution the constitution guaranteeing people the right this is the 14th amendment of the constitution of the see i thought it of the at extra of the united states okay do you understand the difference the constitution for the united states guarantees people's rights the constitution of the united states is fake <laughs> watch Ratified in sixteen in eighteen sixty eight, look, creates, right, or at least recognizes for the first time a citizenship for the first time a citizenship of the United States. You get it because the United States is a corporation. People were uh, citizens of the state. The state was the nation that they belonged to. Okay, that's why the Civil War shook all that up, and that was that was the point. So people get would uh, jump into the United States Corporation, which which incorporated three years later, and uh, as distinct from the states, distinct from the states, the first time a citizenship of the United States Corporation, distinct from the actual states of the land. Okay, and look what recognizes me. Freaking crazy. Look, this is Black's Law, the fourth edition. It's in the fifth too, but it's just easier to come right here. Okay, recognize, right? To try. To examine in order to determine truth of the matter. So <laughs> so it's not it didn't even give you the rights or any it didn't give anybody rights. It at least recognizes, <laughs> meaning we'll look at it and see. If we gonna give you rights or not, you understand what I'm saying? I'll, listen, also to enter into record recognize recognizance, right? Look what recognizance is. I hope I'm saying that right. It doesn't really matter. An obligation of record enter into before into before some court over of record or magistrate duly authorized with condition to do some particular act, as appears in at the assizers or criminal courts to keep the peace to pay a debt or the like it resembles a bond 
in bondage, but differs from it being an acknowledgement of a former debt upon record. In the practice of several states, the specific species of bail bond or security given by the prisoners, either it being bound over for trial or in his taking appeal. Basically, what I'm saying is rec to rec the recognition recognizance right it says it recognizes so it puts you in record recognizance which is an obligation you see what i'm saying so when it says it recognizes its citizenship or at least recognizes for the first time a citizenship it basically created a contract for which we could all join un unknowingly to us by claiming to be United States citizens at that time. In 1868, it was right after a war, and people was looking for, you know, remedies, okay? So, and that was the whole point. It's all a game. But if you just look at the definition, you can tell it's not as solid as the Fourth Amendment. This one bluntly says, guaranteeing people the right. This one says, creates or at least recognizes for the first time citizenship of the United States. Just look at it. As distinct from that of the states, forbids any making or enforcement by any state or any law abridging the privileges and immunities, not rights. See, this says guarantee people the right. This says abridging the privileges and immunities of citizens of the United States. You see the game? And secures all persons. Look how they got it in, in quotes. This is in the definition. If they're talking about people, then why would they have it in quotes? You remember what person means, corporation, against any state action which results in either the de, uh, de, depra, depra, <laughs> depra, deprivation excuse me, of life, liberty, and property without due process of law or in denial of the equal protections of laws. This amendment also contains provisions concerning the appropriate, the appropriate, appropriate of representatives of Congress. Yeah, yeah. But you get it, do you? Secures all persons. Remember, person is artificial corporation. You see the difference. You see the you see the legalese. You read the first line. You can tell there's a difference. This one guarantees people's rights. This one creates or recognizes for the first time. So created citizenship, which is recognized, recognize recognizance, which is a bond, a contract. You see, so when you say you're a U.S. citizen, you enter into a contract and you get immunities and privileges, which can be taken from you, which is civil rights. Civil means means money, means monetary, corporation, okay? So, I mean, we can keep going, but I hope y'all understand that. I hope I made a good, a good point. Sorry for my reading. Some of these words are kind of, you know, you don't read them every day, so it's kind of hard to pronounce. I apologize. Take it easy.